Ay, 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 today is about to be a juicy video. I've been meaning to do one of these for a while now just because it seems to have been a trend and I didn't really know what it was. Today I'm reading your assumptions about me. I asked this on my YouTube channel a few days ago and you guys dropped a lot of them so I'm gonna go through them and just share my thoughts just because I thought these were kind of funny. Um, and yeah, let's just jump into it. You were that student in high school that reviewed for all the tests, yet he'll still tell everyone he didn't do anything at home and after the exam, he will still tell us he fucked up, yet end up with the best mark. Partly true, partly false, because number one, if I do study for something, I'm not gonna say, no, I didn't study for something. And if I didn't study for something, I'll say I didn't study for something. I'm not a student that will try and like bullshit their answers. Just to make myself seem like I tried harder than I did. I just think that's kind of bullshit. Um, and I usually never end with the best marks. I, especially in college, that shit will hit you straight in the face when it comes to grades. So second one, I assumed you weren't straight. I think that's a common misconception and assumption about me. Um, I'm 100% straight. Um, I can understand where people get that assumption about me just because I guess I dress well and am flamboyant and extravagant and whatever. But I assumed you picked up photography just so you can break the stereotype of being an engineer or doctor. No, that's completely false because I've never wanted to be an engineer or doctor. You know, just because I'm Asian doesn't mean that that's innately born within me. My parents really never instilled that in me. Just because I've always been a little bit more creative and always had that artistic side of my Myself. So, you know, being a photographer is something that I genuinely enjoy, not something I'm bullshitting for the gram or to hang out with cool hot girls or whatever. Um, you don't have a solid close friend group at Princeton. Damn, y'all really hitting close to home on this one, shit. Uh, not no, but not yes. I do have a few friends, you know, I don't know if I would call everyone a group just because in college you hang out with a few different people and it's hard for everyone to kind of come together um, as like a whole squad like you had in high school maybe. You know, I'm still a sophomore, so I'm not saying that I won't find the group, but hopefully I do just because it is nice to hang out with, you know, a certain group of people every single weekend and have, uh, you know, close connection with the squad, I guess. Your parents pay off your tuition, nope. I actually paid for my tuition this last semester. Next one, first watching your videos, I assumed you were a little bit arrogant because of your look. It was my first thought about you. Later, it turns out to be inspirational and dignity to watch your videos. Number one, thank you, I appreciate the support. Number two, you know, I think that's a easy assumption to be made about me on your first initial reaction, whether it's watching my first videos or seeing my Instagram post or whatever. Um, you know, I, I can come off a little bit arrogant just because I'm, you know, a little bit self-aware and realize who I am as a person and I'm very confident and, you know, that's easy to be mixed up with arrogance or cockiness. But in reality, I try and stay humble, you know, especially with all the success that I've been having with the channel or with school or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Stay down to earth, stay true to myself and not let anything get to my head, really. Uh, I say yeah, I've, been, I've been working on humility and not trying to boast about my accomplishments or anything like that. So I'm hoping that it doesn't come off like that in my videos. You only hang out with Asian and white people. Not really, because I actually have a very diverse group of friends, you know, blacks, Mexican, white people, Asian people. I don't really see that as a factor of being a friend or whatever. It's just if you are a genuinely good person and I enjoy hanging out with you, I will be friends with you. I assume you're a very basic example, your music taste. I wouldn't disagree because my music taste is not basic, but I do like big artists. Drake, obviously Ariana Grande, Travis Scott, Childish Gambino, but does that really mean you're basic if you enjoy good music? Like, good music is universal good music. You can't really say that it's basic just because everyone likes it. And I kind of hate the fact that like, people think that like listening to indie or alternative bands or people on SoundCloud or whatever is like cooler than listening to mainstream artists. When in reality, music is so subjective and that you can really enjoy what you actually like and you shouldn't be giving a fuck what anyone really thinks about your music. I assume you like to do things extremely in a perfect way and you're a very organized per person as a perfectionist. I'm organized and I like to do things to the best of my ability. I don't necessarily think things need to be perfect and I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist because constantly striving for perfection never means you're gonna get better. If I spent hours trying to perfect the video before I put it up, I would never be constantly creating and trying to improve every single video I put out. So, you know, striving for perfection isn't something I'm necessarily always looking for, but I do try and be the best I can be. You give relationship advice, but never had a serious girlfriend. I mean, I have had a serious girlfriend in high school. We dated for about a year and a half, so so, you know, I, I would say I know what I'm talking about. You know, it's been a minute since I've been back in the game. So, you know, maybe I'm a little rusty, but that doesn't mean I don't know what girls like. I'm just a, but that doesn't mean I don't know what girls like. Like girls are very, you know, easy to read, but also very complex and confusing. People, at the end of the day, girls just want to be loved. Girls just want to be shown affection. And it's not even just girls, like guys in general, humans in general, really just, you know, they, everyone wants the same thing. They just want to be appreciated and, and be shown that they are cared for. You take yourself too seriously sometimes and while you don't find it impossible to express your thoughts, you find it hard to be vulnerable. Damn, y'all really 
reading into my soul lately, shit. Uh, I, I take myself seriously in certain occasions when it comes to stuff that's important and matters to me. And but at the same time, I do like to take the time to relax and enjoy myself and be real and be vulnerable, you know, with my friends and people who are close to me. And especially with you guys, like I would say I'm genuinely very comfortable being in front of camera. There's nothing that I have to hide. And so, you know, being vulnerable isn't scary to me. It isn't anything new to me. And sometimes you wish you picked a college with less high standards and extreme pressure, but other times you're happy about your decision going to Princeton. That is honestly 100% correct because there are days where I'm like, fuck, dude, this is so hard. Like, I literally wish I didn't go to Princeton. But other days I'm like, thank God I go to the school. There are so many opportunities. There are so many things I'm grateful for and, you know, opportunities that I couldn't have had anywhere else. So it's very much a day to day um, on and off about my feelings toward Princeton. You only chose Princeton over the other top colleges you'd be accepted to because it was an Ivy League, but you had no other real motive to other than to say you went there. I, I'm not gonna lie and say that, you know, going to Princeton, the number one university in the country and being from the Ivy League didn't have a lot of appeal. But if I really put the pros and the cons of every other school that I applied to and got accepted to, then it was kind of a no brainer to go to Princeton. Um, financial aid was obviously a huge thing, being close to New York, Ivy League, alumni networking, everything like that did play a big influential factor into my decision. So I'm not gonna lie and say that like that wasn't a big part of it, but at the same time, I was very practical with my decision and you know really did put the pros and the cons of you know Northwestern, Vanderbilt, Berkeley, any, any, all that. Um, you're really full of yourself. I'm not full of myself. Like I said, I'm self-aware, meaning that I know who I am as a person. I know what I enjoy to do. I know what makes me tick. And I know what environments I work best in. That can come off in my personality as being arrogant once again, but that's really not being full of myself. Like, you know, being full of yourself just means that you're lying to yourself to be this person that you're not actually in. You know, I would say that's kind of like the exact opposite because I'm very confident in who I am. You try to prove your high school friends wrong, 100%, that is literally so accurate because people who doubt you in high school or in college or whatever you're always going to be trying to you know prove them wrong but also prove to yourself that you can actually make it and to doubt the haters and to doubt anyone who has said that you aren't going to make it in whatever industry you're trying to pursue you know big middle finger to them and say that like fuck you like i actually did it so um i assume you're extremely extroverted People have been asking me if I'm extroverted or introverted. When I was in high school, I would say I was a lot more extroverted, but when I got to college, I realized that, you know, I'm a lot more introverted than the fact that I don't really like hanging out with a bunch of people that I don't vibe with. I don't try and go out of my way to, you know, be friends with someone if I don't genuinely enjoy being with them, just to say I have a lot of friends. I know who my friends are, I know who I'm close to, and I don't need to lie to myself or fake it to anyone else that, like, I have more friends um, and, and try and fake being extroverted in order to make new ones. Um, I assume you're close with all your teachers. That's pretty accurate. I, you know, just enjoy having genuine relationships especially with a lot of my high school teachers like literally yesterday I actually went back to my high school just to say hi to, to my English teacher my science teacher just because they had a big impact on myself as a student and it's always good for them to you know catch up and see how you're doing in college I assume that you're confident and had a rather successful high school career and have found college to be much more uninviting difficult different and humbling damn y'all really got to know me real quick um that's literally so true like high school i was super confident felt like i had everything together was doing a bunch of successful stuff and then when i got to college man it hit me in the face it made me realize that you know i really wasn't shit like all the stuff i was accomplishing was cool but you know there are so many other people at the school that do such other cool things you know coming to college was just a very humbling experience uh, made me realize that it, i just had to co continue to work hard in things that i'm passionate about and that will eventually pay off <laughs> your desire for self-exposure and need for approval must be strong not no, um, not yes, but yeah. You're more into Asian girls than any other ethnicity. You know, I, it's just personal preference. I, I do tend to like Asian girls. I'm, I guess, attracted to Korean girls in particular. Um, not that I wouldn't date anyone else or marry anyone else. It's just a preference for me. And you know, everyone has their own preferences. Um, I just think for me, it's a little bit easier to relate to other Koreans in terms of culture and work ethic and your values as being raised, especially as a Korean American, um, that it's it's a little bit easier to, to connect and have a, a more intimate relationship, if that makes sense. Your personality is different off camera. I've gotten this question a few times. Sometimes. To be honest, I, I would say that I'm pretty much the same on and off camera. I don't try and put on a fake persona, like I said, just because you know the person I am in real life is genuinely the person I am in front of you guys and you know I, I like I said I've always tried to be honest I always try to keep it real 100 with you guys just because no one likes that bullshit and especially with YouTube it's easy to see through that like you guys know when people are bullshitting with you and, and, and aren't keeping it real so that's not what we're about on this channel you know how it is you know how we do I assume you're afraid of changing your hairstyle no because i've gone through multiple hairstyles in the past um this is just the one that like fits me the best it's the most convenient to do every single day um there aren't really other hairstyles that i've been looking to get into it's just like short on the side a little long on the top 
<laughs> Bro, I assumed you were like 23 when I first saw your video, not knowing you were 18 at the time. Asian jeans, I guess. I assume you're getting tired of doing mainly college videos. Not no, I mean I enjoy doing college videos just because it's the things that I have the most experience on and feel like I can share the most value with you guys. But um, you know, I'm trying to branch out. I'm trying to figure out what else I want to do. Obviously photography and fashion and film are um, big topics on this channel that I like to dive into, but obviously I know that you guys enjoy the college stuff the most. I assume you were trying too hard to find yourself, so you just started doing all of those activities at once and found yourself through those. Yes and no in the fact that like in high school I did participate in different things and, and dip my feet into a bunch of different activities and it wasn't until I realized that like I don't need other people's approvals to do what I want to do and that's kind of when I found my love for photography especially because not a lot of people were doing it um, around me and so being able to do something unique and something that I genuinely enjoyed and was able to you know make cool art especially in high school and now in college is something that has always stuck stuck with me um and once again i'm not doing it for any other reasons except for the fact that like i'm genuinely passionate about it but that about wraps it up for these assumptions about me i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a little bit funny to see you know what you guys think about me on, on your first assumption and for me to react to that uh, drop a comment down below if you guys were surprised by any of them like for more videos and as always don't stress finesse yeah